wrote this march for the 32-piece Barnum Bailey Circus Band in 1913 under Fussman's director, the Mitro Show Coordinatorist Ned Brill. King was 22 at the time and preparing to join the band as a euphonium player. The euphonium part of this march, as in most of his marches, shows his love for the instrument as he liked to hear the counter melody part flopping around. His use of the word favorite in this title is a good choice. In an, 18, in a 1980 International Music Survey, Barnum and Bailey's favorite ranked fourth out of the top 140 marches. Now we hope you enjoy Barnum and Bailey's favorite by Carl Elkin. offered an opportunity to fantasize in the musical language of today. The three movements are a constantly varied examination of Haydn's basic idea, the bubbling humor of the first and third fantasies blank a second, which is intensely lyric. In the final sense, it is a homage to a composer who will always remain contemporary. Please enjoy Fantasy 17 by Haydn.
written for the brass bands for which you might as well know. It was titled Little Sweet for Brass. John Painter's arrangement expands it to include woodwinds and additional percussion, but faithfully retains the breezy effervescence of the original composition. All three movements are written in short, clear, five-part song forms. The ABACA design will be instantly apparent to the listener while giving the imaginative melodies of Malcolm Arnold a natural, most folk-like setting. The prelude begins bombastically in fanfare style, reaches a middle climax, and winds down to a quiet return of the opening measure that leads to silence. The liltingly expressive Siciliano is both slower and more expressive. The rollicking five-part rondo provides a romping finale in which the technical brilliance of the modern wind band is set forth in modern brilliance. We hope you enjoy Prelude, Siciliano, and Rondo. Thank you. 